With the exception of a few isolated peaks, most of the Earth's mountains are part of mountain ranges. Generally, mountains form when crustal plates collide and fuse together to form a larger plate. The collision causes the continental crust at the plate boundary to be pushed upward into a mountain range. When this happens, rock layers are folded and faulted. When two continental plates collide, the continents weld into a single larger continent. In Activity 9, students discover what happens to the Earth's crust when two continental plates collide. Using a model of two continental plates, they infer that layers of rock of similar weight will wrinkle and fold when they collide. They discover that mountains form at the boundary between two continental plates. This activity will take about 40 minutes. The vocabulary introduced in this activity is plate boundary. For this activity from the kit, you will need large pieces of cardboard. You will need to cut the cardboard into uh, squares of eight and a half centimeters by eight and a half centimeters, one pair of squares per group of four. You will also need construction paper that will need to be cut into rectangles of eight and a half by twelve and a half centimeters. You will need modeling clay. You will need zip bags. You will need uh, also the puzzle pieces from Activity 6. From the kit for the class, you will need two bags of basalt and four bags of granite and a roll of masking tape. You will also need to provide scissors, metric ruler, red marking pen, newsprint, a world map, and for each student, a copy of Activity Sheet 7. In the previous lessons, we learned what happens when oceanic plates move away and when continental plate and ocean plates collide. Each student will be given a copy of Activity Sheet 7 and directed to cut along the bold line and fit it together again. Ask the students, what do you think might happen when two continental plates collide? Kathy, what are the names of the two plates on this uh, activity sheet? We have the Eurasian plate and the Indian plate. Okay, and what continent um, is located on the Eurasian plate? Uh, Europe and Asia. All right. What part of the Asian continent is located on the Indian plate? India. All right. What made geographic, a geographic feature then is on the Indian plate? Uh, we have the Indian Ocean. Great. To help orient the students to the activity sheet, locate on a world map China, India, and the Indian Ocean. Each team will receive two samples of granite and a sample of basalt, and they are asked to identify the samples. So, Kathy, let's take a look at those samples and see if you can identify which they are. I think we said the lighter weight rock was granite mm -hmm. because it had all of the larger grains. Mm -hmm. And I think we said the finer grains um, that we really can't see is basalt. Okay. Place the rock samples in the correct location on the plates on the Black Line Master. Okay, I think we said basalt actually was heavier, so it goes on the oceanic plates. All right. And then the granite, which is the lighter weight rock, goes on the continental uh, continents. Okay. On the activity sheet, what do the arrows show? Um, well, I think the arrows show the Indian plate moving this way and the Eurasian plate moving this way. Okay. And they bump into each other. All right. If the plates are moving toward each other in the direction of the arrows, what kinds of rock are coming together? Uh, well, both pieces of granite. Okay. How would you compare the mass <clears throat> or the weight of the two pieces of granite? Well, they should be the same. They're the same type of rock. Okay. What do you think happens when two substances of the same mass come together? Well, I would think there would be 
quite a collision there with the two when they run into each other. So there probably would be some equal pressure. Definitely. We'll explore this in the next part of the activity. Students will make a model to help them see what happens when two continental plates collide. The materials that they are going to need is going to be the cardboard that is cut eight and a half by eight and a half centimeters and the construction paper that you cut eight and a half by twelve and a half centimeters. First of all, what we're going to do is to line the construction paper up and we're going to ask the students to take masking tape and they're going to wrap a piece of masking tape firmly around this to anchor the masking tape and then we're going to take another one and one of the things I want to point out here is that you will see that the cardboard is quite a bit shorter than the construction paper and that's fine but the ends need to match. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the clay and we're going to place it firmly on the top of the taped construction paper and cardboard. Okay, Kathy, I think that you, we already have a couple that are made, so let's go ahead and what we're going to do is we're trying to find out in this model what happens to when two of the plates collide. Uh, what do each of these uh, clay models represent? Uh, the continental plates. Okay, and they're both, the continental plates are both, are, uh, have, that's where we have, see the granite, okay? Now, you're going to push yours against mine, and we're going to just observe what happens as we push these together. Ah, they oh, start bending upwards, yeah, and, don't and they? buckling, mm -hmm. exactly. And this is what happens in, in reality when continental plates collide. So do we have mountains? I think we have mountains. I think we have mountains. And if the, you look at the uh, activity sheet for the students, are there mountains on the earth where the Indian plate and the Eurasian plate meet? Uh, yes, all these little markings, and they're, they're the Himalayan mountains. Okay, actually the Himalayan mountains are the tallest mountains in the world. Now refer to the mysteries chart begun in activity six, the second equation. Do you know what happens when continental plates collide, Kathy? Uh, yes, I think when we pushed our two plates together, we see how they've buckled up and folded and kind of have made mountains. Okay. Have the students cross out the question mark at the end of the equation and write the phrase mountain building in its place. And then write solved in big, large red letters at the top of the chart. For cleanup, have students separate the layers of clay, construction paper, and cardboard. Return the clay to the plastic bag. Recycle the paper, cardboard, and newspaper. Return the rock samples to the kit. Collect the plate puzzle pieces to be used in activity 12. Guide the students through reading page 8 in the Delta Science Reader.